On this day in Southern labor history, we're celebrating the passage of the Fair Labor Standards Act of 1938, passed by President Roosevelt. The Fair Labor Standards Act was a sweeping labor law that established standards around a 25 cent minimum wage, child labor, overtime, and a 40 hour work week. While a 25 cent minimum wage doesn't seem like much, it was contentious among conservatives. John Edgerton of the Southern States Industrial Council argued, we confess our failure to understand how it is possible to improve the conditions of the underpaid by a statute whose inevitable effect will be to increase greatly the cost of production. Edgerton's position that raising the wage would hurt workers is a tired trope we hear repeated even today when minimum wage discussions come up. President Roosevelt rebutted those arguments, saying, Do not let any calamity howling executive with an income of $1,000 a day tell you that a wage of $11 a week is going to have a disastrous effect on all American industry. Arguments against raising the minimum wage and workers' rights have barely changed in the 85 years since the passage of the Fair Labor Standards Act. Since 1938, there have been numerous changes and amendments to the Fair Labor Standards Act, but what remains clear is that the rights of working people are hard fought and the fight is not over. Even today, workers' rights often come into question. We need politicians who stand with us in passing progressive labor laws that support worker justice.